Good morning, Dominicans. Good morning. How are you all doing? Hope all is well. Dominicans, sometime in 2017, early 2017, I believe it's, well, yeah, it's before Hurricane Maria. Because after Hurricane Maria, I remember an incident with Minister Kenneth Darrow, Dr. Kenneth Darrow, where I had a flat tire in Pishna and he stopped. When he realized, or realized it was me, he drove away. He drove away. And I was wondering why, you know. And then a few days ago, a whistleblower came to me, um, mm -hmm. provided me some voice recordings. And I, then that's when I realized, wait, Maybe I posted something on Dom, um, Dominica Politics Group and the minister must have thought it was him or took ownership of that. That's what I thought at the time. Let me read what I, I did. I had a conversation with a young lady who is about 25 years old. That was in 2017. So she, she would have been about 23, 23 years old back then. And we're talking about public officials. And the response was, all of them sell up. On my bad side, for them to get, for me to shut down the country. So I said, which one? You, be honest. She referred to a Kenneth, was raped when I was 13 by him, took my virginity between you and I only. Right? I mean, she's saying, keep that between us. I said, wow, okay. I screenshot that and I posted that on, on Dominica Politics Group back in 2017. And I left that there. The young lady actually came back to me and said, oh gosh, you should not have done that. And I left that there. We're we cool. We still, we are good. So I received some message on Facebook Messenger a few days ago. And I was wondering, what, what was that about? Let me read the message I received. Let me get it for you. The message is from another uh, Kenneth. Well, no, the screenshot. You know, somebody screenshotting off their WhatsApp. So you see a Kenneth in the as the name. And it says, please tell me you did that's the Kenneth saying that to the person. Please tell me you deleted the stuff. Yeah, it's gone. That's the person responding. Who just hate to think that after all. That time, this thing resurfaces and cause problems. Thanks. That's what the person is still saying. The Kenneth person. And promise me that isn't going to resurface ever, ever. That was it. The person responded. The woman who said she was in there. It, the person who, the woman said she's the person who is responding to him. I gotcha. The Kenneth person responded, thanks. She said, yup. And she talked about other things that have nothing to do with, you know, I don't want to discuss that, the, the conversation. Nothing to do with some of the allegations the young lady has made. And then the other chat messages where he, the young lady, he's, the, person, the Kenneth guy is asking, are you home? Yes, in bed alone. Well, not alone, but alone. Yup, always. Damn, I want to see. You know, sexting then. Sexting. Sexting. You know, so that is not important to me. That is not important to me. Um, maybe I'm trying to look for, look for some other stuff. It's a lot, eh? Dominicans, it's a lot. So the young lady sent that Kenneth a message. And in that, I'm seeing a face that I can recognize 
in the small thing as a Kenneth. So I'm going through my phone this morning and I came across a recording of our conversation or convo. I read in exactly what she said in the office about when I was 13 and all that. I was doing something before you came in and didn't bother check the phone. LOL, laugh out loud. These smart devices. The Kenneth person said, really? You need to, de you need to delete that ma'am. She gave her a, 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 what do you call it, emocon, or what they call it? Yeah, really, she said. Hope you deleted. The young lady responded, no. He asked the Kenneth person, why not? She said, I don't know. And this emocon, right? Emocon, you call it? Four of them, the Kenneth guy, as four of them. And she smiled, responded, and the, and the conversation ended. Now I have plenty of screenshots, right? Of conversations relating to many other things, conversations they have in. You know, children, wife and children in the Fort Young Hotel, and he's home alone, the Kenneth guy, can you come over? And you know, this kind of thing. For me, she's 25 now. She's an adult now, so that doesn't bother me. That's between a man, his wife, his God, and himself. Right? These kind of things I try not to get involved in. Alright? Because it's about you, your children, your wife, your children, and your God. Whatever you do outside of your marriage. For me, that is your business. That, you know, that's, that's it. So I try not. I can recall the young lady having a conversation with me in 2017 where she made allegations of a rip that took place when she was 14. I read it to you. Right? She said, Kenneth was ripped when I was 13 by him. Took my virginity. Gabu is trying to call me because Gabu is dealing with something for me. All right? On that matter. I'll call him later. Because this is serious. I'll call you, Gabu. I'll call you. And Dominicans, the girl got back to me yesterday. Send me some messages. I say, what you have? Take what you have. You say, I have voice recordings. You know. Voice recordings, you know. I'm like, you serious? I say, send that to me. And I'm listening to that. And you know, that message, the one where I said, she said, all of them, all, all of them sell up on my bad side for them to get, for me to shut down the country. So I said, which one of, which one you? Be honest. And she said, a Kenneth was ripped when I was with. So I posted that on Dominica Politics Group. When I posted on Dominica Politics Group, it would seem that that Kenneth instructed the young lady to come to his office or wherever for him to meet. And that, that conversation that I posted was discussed. I have the recording. My lawyer has the recording. And I'm ensuring that Gabu has it too. And all the chat messages. And certain other people. They have it right now. And that was being discussed. And in fact, my name was even mentioned in that conversation. I was referred to as a damas. The Trevor C. Johnson who does post things on Facebook. And the voice I heard songs like a Kenneth I know. And it's sung, it's sung like a Kenneth who is the Minister of Health and candidate for the for the for the Pitted Savant constituency. It's that songs like him. That songs like his voice. And I know the young lady. And that is a voice talking in there. Yes, my people. I have it. My Trini lawyer has it. And Gabu has it. And a few other people have it. Just so this, I don't want to release it, you know, yet, you know. I want to release it, but it's already uploaded. So people have passwords. It's just a matter of clicking on YouTube. Or clicking in some other thing and it is out there and the whole 
whole world can see it. Whole world can see it. This is amazing, you know, my people. This is amazing that the young lady indicated that that report was made, that was made to senior government officials. And nothing has been done about that. Nothing has been done about that. If indeed this is the person I am hearing on the voice recording. In fact, I have submitted that to the minister. I have submitted that to the minister. Because the young lady gave me a number. And on the screen, the profile picture is the same person profile picture I'm seeing on the chat message that she sent me. So I sent it to the minister. He's read it this morning. I sent that from yesterday. He's read it. And he's just reading. And he's just watching. And these are serious allegations. And this is a man who is offering himself for public office again. That's a man, I believe. I believe. I'm not sure. I will have to go through the records. Who had the most to say about Joshua Francis? Where there is no proven allegations of that. But in the voice conversation that I have, there is information that all of us could conclude that he is admitting to that incident. And I have that. I have that. I won't go to provide that to the police yet. Let the government change. Let the government, and the government doesn't change, which I know that's, you know, it's going to be changed. I will provide that to international organizations who are dealing with, 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 with children and women on the whole. They need to be aware of that. And in the event, I don't believe this man is going to win the elections. He said, sorry, I don't believe that Kenneth, if indeed it is him in that, is going to win. But if he wins, this is something serious. But before he even considers, or you, the people of Petit Savan, consider voting him, he needs to come out clean and tell the public that is not him. That these allegations are being made about. I want him to do that within 24 hours. He should do that within 24 hours. And he better come, come good. He better come good, my people. And based on his response, he should tender his resignation as a minister. He's still a minister. You know, people always think that the man is not a minister once parliament is dissolved. Parliament is dissolved. There are no members of parliament anymore. But people who are in the position in the government, the policymakers are still in there. They ought to be there. Government has to continue until December 6th, my people. So he's still a minister. He should tender his resignation by 6 o'clock today. That, that's what I'm asking. And he should write to his leader, the Roosevelt Square, the leader of the Dominican Labour Party, and offer his resignation as the candidate for the pitted servant constituency. That's all I'm asking. That is if he believes that these are him. Eh? Right? I sent it to him. So based on what he's heard, based on what he's heard from these recordings, because I sent it to him, my people. I don't make joke. I like to give people a fair opportunity to, to you know, that's what you have to do. As people, as human beings, you give people a fair opportunity to see what allegations are being made. Because the allegations are not from me. The allegations are from a young woman. Things have been sent to me. Whistleblowers are sending me things. This is, I don't know which one to let to release. There's, there is so much to release, my people. I don't know. Because yesterday I was going to release something. I had to pull back because I allowed Annette, Nurse Annette, to deliver part. Because that was for me, that was the major bombshell. And, and then I still have to wait because Annette still has to release the bribery tip. You understand? But I chose this morning to release this one because I want, 
I have, as I said, I've given the man the, a few opportunities. People can't say Trevor is a old dog. People like to say Trevor is dog, Trevor is this. People say I'm a dog to call eyes on people. So this time I'm, I'm doing it better. Okay, Fad James? Fad yes, James? Paolo, I'm doing it better. Right? I hope you agree with me this time. I am giving the minister the, uh, a fair opportunity to 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 come clean with the public and the people of the pitted Savant constituency. Because the young girl is actually from the pitted Savant constituency. And if he believes that he is the person in the team Recording. He should offer his resignation as a minister and the candidate for the pitted servant concerning. Mother, do mother no vote. You see why how you might have gotten it, mother. Mother, you see, when your people say no mother, no vote, they knew that they were talking about. Maybe I don't know. All right, my brother, Kenneth. And if by six o'clock my technicians my agents, you know what to do. You release the tapes. You release them by 6 o'clock today. Okay? Release it. I'm going, I'm traveling today. I'll be out of the jurisdiction. Twice I'm flying. It will be 6 o'clock. So my people, do what you have to do for me. My technicians... You don't know I may be arrested before I jump on the plane. You don't know. But all I am saying, hey, my beard looking good, eh, people? Oh, shit. I watching that there and I, I like, wow. Anyway. Okay, my people. <laughs> do what you have to do now. As I said, it's now or never. Now or never. It is time to get rid of these people. The tape will be released at 6 o'clock. I've given the guy a fair chance to respond to the allegations being made and to respond to the recording that I forwarded to him. It was a bit low. I got technicians to increase the volume so now you could clearly hear. My name isn't being mentioned. And as I said, I have the, photo, the screenshot that I posted in 2017 on Dominica Police Group. And it was being referred to. So, there it is, my people. Have a great day.